What's up guys, this is Joy Neville back with another video. In today's video, we're doing a what I eat in a day video. These are just foods that I eat throughout the day and I like to show you guys what I choose to eat to stay in a calorie deficit. So I take my favorite foods that I crave and I swap them for lower calorie options. So if you like that, stay tuned for this video. I have a Visa gift card drawing coming soon in the next couple videos, I'll be putting that up. Um, this is because I hit 600 subscribers and every time I go 300 subscribers I do another Visa gift card giveaway sponsored by me and nobody else. I just draw your guys' names from the comments in the comment area. That's how I get your names and then I announce three lucky winners. So stay tuned for that guys. It's coming soon. And yeah, let's get into this video. If you're new to my channel, thank you. I appreciate you. And for everybody that's been sticking around for as long as I can remember, thank you. I appreciate you too. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, I just finished a workout. My hair is soaked in sweat. So I'm going to go shower. But um, yeah, I'm back at it trying to do my daily workouts. Um, or every other day depending but I'm gonna try to do daily because it's the holidays and there's holiday parties and all my kids birthdays and get-togethers um, there's been a lot more free days where you know I don't track and I don't want to go backwards so back to incorporating pretty much I'm gonna try to do daily exercise of some sort um, today I did 70 minutes on the elliptical. I only planned for 30, ended up doing 70, watching YouTube at an incline of 8 to 10. And then I did 10 minutes on the stair stepper. Um, for me it's just a plastic little stair stepper that I step up and down and I can elevate it taller or shorter. And I used hand weights. And then I also do squats with a 15 pound right now a 15 pound dumbbell 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 and usually I do 20 to 25 pound dumbbells but getting back in the groove of daily exercise um, yeah so I'm starting with 15 because you don't want to over exert yourself you do what makes you comfortable and this is what makes me comfortable I'm in my own house doing my workout because we have I'm lucky enough to have a little bit of a gym downstairs that I've gathered over the years of people just on offer up or donations on Facebook or I seen it on the side of the road and somebody was giving it away so I've gathered stuff over the years but yeah so um, I haven't ate breakfast except a half a banana which I should have showed you guys and I didn't I'm not a big breakfast person most of the time you guys know but I do have to eat something to take my medicines and vitamins for my pelvic wall um, dysfunction that I have. So ate a half a banana, drank a cup of black coffee, and so far I've had two of these, one with my vitamins this morning and then this much working out. So I'm almost done with this one. I'm going to finish this real quick and go get in the shower and I'll show you what's for lunch. Alright guys, I'm out of the shower. I got my true lemon. I add it to my water. On my day off, I usually run errands. I also have physical therapy that I'm attending for my pelvic wall dysfunction. But today, I don't have either of those. Um, I did have to pay some bills and do a couple things earlier this morning. And then I worked out, and here we are. So, yeah, I'm having lunch now. I don't know what I want. I kind of am craving the tuna tacos, but you guys have seen those so many times. It's like, I try to show you guys different things, but that's what I'm craving. Maybe I'll make tuna tostadas. It's a little different. I don't know. I'll bring it back. Okay, guys, so I'm doing tuna tostadas, and you can do this with chicken, shredded chicken, canned chicken. You can do this with leftover beef. You can do this with lunch meat. But I'm using one of these 70 calorie Starkist Ranch tuna creations. And I'm using 25 calorie corn tortillas, Mission tortillas. Um, Safeway and Albertsons carries these. I think Winko and Walmart even started carrying them where you can get them online. They're by Mission. And then all I'm going to do is take my tortilla, spray it. Put a little bit of sea salt on it and put them in the frying pan 
right here to crisp up to two tostadas like this. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, in about a minute and a half, remember I sprayed them, sprinkled some salt on them, and put them face down. In about a minute and a half, here they are, golden. And then I flipped them and sprayed them and salted them. So both sides get crispy. And they're going to make tostadas. If you don't want them too crispy, bend them, in, bend them in half right now, and then you have taco shells. So I'm going to turn this off. And then I have a quarter cup of chopped up spinach, a quarter cup of cherry tomatoes chopped up, and my tuna, lime juice, and Taco Bell mild sauce. And I'm going to assemble this and bring you back. Alright guys, here's my lunch. I have one cup of pineapple and, I mean not a cup, a half a cup of pineapple and two Mission Tortillas, 25 calories with a 70 calorie Star Kissed pouch tuna that was ranch, a quarter cup of spinach chopped up, and a quarter cup of tomatoes chopped up. Little lime juice, a little tahini, and a little Taco Bell mild sauce. Never hurt nobody, so that's what I topped everything with. And this is my lunch for 188 calories. Basically fish tostadas. And you can use any kind of meat you want. But this is my lunch. See you on the next meal. Had to bring you in for the crunch. These get so crispy. I know you guys wonder why I eat them. But I love them. It's the crunch for me. Yum. Hey guys, I'm starting dinner, and so far, it's hard to see, but I have chicken in my Instapot. I have one, two, three, about three and a half chicken breast, partially thawed. They're partially frozen, partially thawed. And here's my Instapot. You can do this in the crock pot too. So get your boneless chicken or whatever kind of chicken you want to use. This is skinless, boneless chicken breast. A pack of taco seasoning. We call this salsa chicken, but I'm sure there's many names for it and many ways to do it. I just dump that in. One packet. A jar, a regular medium jar of salsa of choice. This one is... We opened it the other day, the boys used it on something, so it's almost full. And this is um, Southwest Salsa. It looks like it has beans and corn and onions and stuff in it. So dump that in. They tell you when you're cooking with the Instapot, I think to use a cup of water every time, but this is um, two cups of liquid basically it's tomato so I'm just gonna add a splash of water probably about a quarter cup just in the bottom rinse out the jar because it's gonna have the liquid from the salsa and the chicken but if you're not using the salsa add your water I'm also going to add a little lime juice I do that before and after I'm also going to add a couple splashes of hot sauce. This one's mild sauce because my husband doesn't like it hot. About a tablespoon. I'm just using the rest of the bottle. There's like a tablespoon left. Probably going to want more after it's done, but for now it's okay. I'm going to add a sprinkle of tahini. It's a Mexican seasoning. I love it. So we'll give a heavy sprinkle of that. And then, the last things I'm going to add are some black pepper, a little bit of salt, but the taco seasoning and the tahini have salt, minced garlic, the salsa probably has some in it, but I like more. So about a tablespoon of that and a tablespoon of minced onion. Again, it probably is in the salsa, but I just like to add more. You don't have to do this step. And that's it. Oh, and some oregano.
Oregano, oregano. You can use fresh if you have it, or Mexican oregano, even better. About a teaspoon or two of that, and that's it. I'm going to set this up. I don't use this very often. I'm just scared of it. And then I'm going to hit pressure cook and temperature. I think pressure cooks all I do, right? <laughs> I'm asking you guys. Time. I'm going to do 10 minutes and leave it at that. And then I'm going to hit start. And there it goes. It's locked and it's going. Because it's got to build up pressure, it's got to cook for the 10 minutes, and it's got to build down pressure. So it'll cook. And then I'll bring it back when it's done. Okay, guys, I wanted to show it to you all shredded up and mixed with the salsa. It was a perfect amount of salsa and water because we have a little bit of juice at the bottom, but it's nice and moist. You don't want it dry. And it tastes delicious. Yum. I added a little bit more lime juice, about two tablespoons. And about a teaspoon more of the tahini seasoning. And now I have rinsed can of black beans. I'm not going to probably add the whole thing. I'm probably going to add a quarter to half. Let me see. We'll start with a quarter of it. And just tosses in. This is optional. I just think the more fiber and protein, the better. And it bulks it up. It gives it more, you know, nutrition value. You do not have to do this. You can be done right now and serve it over tortillas or salad or lettuce wraps. However you want. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Just with a few black beans spread out. And that's how I'm going to serve it. All right, tastes really good. I'll bring you back on this plate. Hey guys, I haven't ate yet, but I'm about to, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing for hours. This, here, let me turn you around. This is a two page list of all my people that have left comments on my YouTube in the last I think I did, I went back eight weeks or ten weeks, something like that. So a little over two months. And here's the list of everybody. And I have two pages worth, you guys. Like, two pages, two pages. And so this is what I've been doing. Because when I tell you guys, like, I literally read the comment, see the name, and write it down so I can cut your names out and put them in bowl. How I'm going to do it is I'm just going to cut right across on the lines and then cut down this way. Fold it and toss it in the bowl. But yeah, this is the, um, the list. And it's a lot. <laughs> and so, and then I'm like in my YouTube here. Oh, I can't do it. My phone's off. But yeah, my phone's charging, so I have to finish letting it charge, but that's what I've been doing. But it's to thank you guys, you know, and I do this every few hundred subscribers because I want to say thank you. You guys support me, and I really do appreciate it, you know. And so, yeah, it's worth it to me. And it isn't a lot of money, but it's a Visa gift card. You can use it for gas. You can use it to go out to eat. Use it for a movie. Give it to somebody else as a gift or use it to buy a gift, you know. It's definitely worth it, and, you know, I'm not rich, but it's definitely a thank you to you guys. So that's what I'm doing, and so that will be up probably the next video will be about this giveaway. I just have to go buy the gift cards. That's the only thing I haven't done. So now my list is almost done. Got two pages worth. I have a couple um, videos to go through with comments left, and that's it. And then, yeah, I'll be getting that up, so just watch for it. I am still working on it, so I haven't forgot about you guys. And I'm going to make my dinner plate. So I'll bring you right. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Sometimes you guys leave me messages. Can you do this in a video? Can you show me how to make this? Or what about this idea? And so this is one of those, what about this idea? Bee candy, this is for you. She recommended a while back 
What about taking your sugar-free raspberry jam you love so much and making a dressing for your salad, way lower calorie, kind of like Skinny Girl. So we're doing it. Because I'm gonna have tostadas with my chicken, my salsa chicken, but I'm gonna have a big salad. I have two tablespoons of the raspberry, sorry if you guys can't see, the raspberry jam, sugar-free, so that's only 20 calories, right? Or 10, 20 calories. Then I put salt and pepper, and now I'm taking, I wanted the grainy mustard, but I'm out, so I'm taking just a teaspoon or two of, we'll do one teaspoon to start, I think. No, I'll do one more. So two teaspoons of your favorite mustard, and a teaspoon or two of vinaigrette. So any kind of vinegar, apple cider, balsamic, um, red wine vinegar, whatever you want. I'm using basalmic. So a couple teaspoons. And then I'll add and adjust if I need to. Should have put this in a little bit bigger container or bowl. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more. And the jam already has sweetener, so this should be sweet enough. The mustard just gives it a little zing. I have my 25 calorie tortillas cooking on the stove right now and I'll bring you right back when the all right so in total here's the recipe two tablespoons of sugar-free raspberry jam two tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette some salt some pepper two teaspoons of the Dijon mustard you can use any mustard you want and then one tablespoon of water because I wanted to get it a little bit more runny if you want more zing, you could add more balsamic, but I just used another tablespoon of water. And it's still really thick, but you guys, this measuring cup is a half a cup, and it's almost full for 20 calories. 20 calories. I don't think balsamic has... Oh, balsamic for one tablespoon. It does have 15 calories. Okay, so 30, 40... So for 50 calories, I have almost a half a cup of dressing. We're not going to probably use all that, but that's crazy. What a good idea. Let's taste it. I'm just going to use my finger. It is what it is. Let me taste. Wow. This is good. Wow. I didn't think it would be as good as... It's good. That's really good, you guys. It's sweet. It's got zing to it. This is better than any vinaigrette dressing I've tried. Any raspberry or strawberry vinaigrette. This is better. Try this, you guys. I'm not lying to you. Sugar-free jam. Two. Equal parts. Basalmic. Salt and pepper. And a squeeze of mustard. Mix it up. Add a little water to get your consistency how you want it. It's good. Thank you, Bee Candy, for recommending that. This is bomb. Okay guys, here's my dinner. My dinner in total is gonna be, see if you can see it, 325 calories. And so I'm at almost 700 calories so far. Here's my four ounces of chicken, salsa chicken. I tried to pick out most of the beans just for less calories and carbs. I put, there's like six or seven beans, so it's not a big deal. I put two tablespoons of sour cream lime juice and water to make it more like a sour cream drizzle so I can use less but it still covers the surface of my tacos like so and I probably won't even use the two tablespoons to be honest it's, I've learned ways over the last four and a half years almost five years to get more bang for my buck, still get flavor without feeling like I'm deprived and not getting enough. So, yeah, I didn't even use a whole tablespoon probably. And then we have my vinaigrette with the sugar-free jam. Thank you to B Candy for asking about doing this. And I love it, guys. And this is my salad. This is 20 calories. It's got 
cherry tomato cut up on it and then a bunch of greens. It's called 50-50 mixed greens. I don't think I'll use all this to start. I'll use half and if I need more I have it. So yeah, I did log it though in case I wanted to use it. So this is my dinner. Look how much food. Huge beautiful salad. And then my chicken salsa, salsa chicken tostadas. And yeah, I am about to go wax and watch my favorite show. And yeah, I'll bring you back for dessert. Hey guys, this is my dessert. It is one Dannon light and thick Greek yogurt, cherry flavored. A half a cup of frozen blueberries. I thaw them in the microwave for about 10-15 seconds to get the juices flowing. Mix them into my yogurt so it's like a syrupy flavor going on. And then I top it with Special K cereal, 30 calories for a quarter cup. And then some cinnamon. So that's my perfect. You can do a little fat free Cool Whip, some Lily's chocolate chips, whatever you want. So if you don't like berries, you can also do vanilla yogurt, PB2 or PB Fit powder, and then some lilies, and you have like a Reese dessert, which is also good. But yeah, this is one of my go-tos. If you're, you know, been rocking with me for a while, you guys already know that. And if you're new, try this. It's really good and very low calorie. Tons of protein, too. But always, always measure. All right, guys, that's it for this dessert. Oh, I'm also going to have two carb smart bars in about 20 30 minutes, which you guys know those are the Fudge Sickle carb smart bars, my go to. They're 60 calories each, and that's how I'm going to end my dessert night. Have a great week, guys. That's the end of the video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. And if you've already done that, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Until next time, stay beautiful, stay strong, and just know you got this. You can do this. Just swap out your favorite foods for some healthier, lower calorie options of those kind of foods. Love you guys. Till next time. Bye.